Hi everyone, it's Imogen and welcome back to Colouring Kid. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my haul for the months of January and February. Um, you'll have to excuse me to, uh, today. I'm not feeling the best. Um, I've got concerts coming up next week and as it always is with me, I just, I get ill before lots of performances, which is frustrating, but it will be fine. Um, I find that in the day I'm not quite as bad. My voice is a little bit croaky, but not too bad. It's just, um, it's just at night. It's not great. But nevertheless, I'm really looking forward to doing this video. You will probably notice I have really been cutting back on things that I've been buying recently just because I'm not being able to colour as much. So as much as I would like to get, you know, lots of things, I'm also trying to just be mindful of um, spending money as well, just because I'm also looking forward... Um, you know into the coming months and obviously as I've mentioned before in videos I'm not going to be able to take everything with me to uni and it's just I'm trying to think a lot more about okay well what am I actually going to need um or you know really really like so this haul I've got a couple of things from Christmas actually that I got in early January in some of the sales and also some <clears throat> stationary items as well I can tell you for a fact March and April's haul will definitely have more colouring books in it I haven't bought colouring books for a while and um that's sort of why I've been saving my money a lot I guess because I know that there are lots of books coming out in March and April time so you can expect to see um books in that haul definitely but yeah I've got some um fun things to share hopefully some some new things that you might not have seen before if you're interested in them so I'll show you the Christmassy things first obviously because we're in March now and it's way after the fact but you never know they might come around next year and um, this was a find I could not believe um that I actually managed to find this so this is um wrapping paper from Sainsbury's now I follow an artist on Instagram called Claire Therese Gray and I've purchased Things, oh, I'm not going to be able to remember the name now. Craft Consortium. Is that it? Yes, Craft Consortium. And she, I believe, has done designs for them before. And I saw that she was doing these, uh, this specific design for Christmas for Sainsbury's. <clears throat> and she's also doing one for Easter. So if you do have a Sainsbury's local to you, a, like a fairly big one that does all of the home stuff, um, it's a blue design and I have, haven't have um, gone in to see if they have it yet but I think she's doing napkins and lots of things for like tableware and stuff but this one I haven't used it yet obviously because it's Christmassy but it has um, partridges on it and holly berries, mistletoe, it's really pretty and it was 25p <laughs> I could not get over that I just went in it was mid-January and I forgot to look for it before Christmas and I was expecting it you know if it was even there I was expecting it to be a full price but yeah it was 25p I could not get over that um, there was only one roll left as well I would have got more because I know my mum would have wanted some but there's four meters so um, I'm sure she can use it if, um, if she wants to but it was very very pretty and I now have um my mum's friend let us know about them. These, I think they're from, from Ikea, I don't know. They're similar. They're like um, wrapping paper storage cases, I guess. And you, you can store your wrapping paper in them, keep them all safe. There's an area to put ribbons in and tags and stuff. And then some zip um, pocket things on the side. So I've put uh, bags for putting presents in that I've, been given and I can reuse so yeah it's really really good little storage so I've put that in there for now and I will be putting the wrapping paper back in there as well um, and then I also have some other wrapping paper which is from Fat Face which I was not expecting to find I didn't even know they did wrapping paper this was um, a random find when we were in London over New Year and yeah it was just in a, a small Fat Face in um, King's Cross Station I think it was a pound each. It was, again, very, very good value. It reminded me a lot of the style of the Whistlefish papers that I've got a lot of, and these are stored with my Whistlefish papers. So you get two sheets per um, per pack. 
So we've got this really cute giraffe one and then the zebra one as well. So I thought that they were really sweet and yeah, it was only a pound. So I got a couple and there are also tags on the back as well. So they're really pretty and I can't wait to use them. I might even make some stickers. We will see, but it was a really cute find that one. <clears throat> and then the other Christmas thing I have are these cards. So these are from Oxfam. So I would definitely urge you if you do have an Oxfam shop or um, there are also specific Oxfam bookshops as well. They tend to have a lot of their um, their own products. And this was reduced, so I think this was two fifty instead of instead of four ninety nine. So these are really beautiful. They had quite a few designs. There were some that had actual, uh, actual like coloured printed designs on them, but I decided to go for these ones because they were black and white illustrations. And I thought they're beautiful as they are, but if I was sending them to um, someone I know who's arty or who's a colourist. You know, you might want to colour it in, add some colour to it. Even putting some pastel down might be quite nice, but it is sort of embossed. So it's got a nice texture to it. And what I didn't realise with these was you can actually cut them out. So they've done a little um, dotted line where you can cut them out and then use the tag. So if you give the cards to someone, they can then reuse the card next year, which I always think is a really good idea with cards because... I always do that. If I am given a card or a postcard, I've framed things before and put them up. I got some cards, I must have shown them in a hall, some cards from Devon <clears throat> from Paperbird Island from Sulcan, and they were just really inexpensive, lovely cards with the um, artwork on and I've got a frame with three of them, sorry, like three um, spaces to put put them on so they're lovely and I will definitely be taking that to uni I'd like to take a couple of pieces of artwork with me actually to keep around if I have space but yeah the cards are just lovely because they're you know they're like mini prints and they're yeah, so beautiful so yeah we've got the hedgehog one and then the squirrel one as well so they're both really pretty <clears throat> and I've got envelopes as well in the back so yeah there's 10 of those there they'll be perfect okay so um i'll show you the other stationary things so i got this ages ago which i think again i must have shown in a haul this is a moleskin book which is called their chapters collection so it's a really really small book and it, the, the whole idea behind them is that they lie flat. So because of the way the binding works, they're brilliant because you can just lie them flat. Um, I love music and I want to go on to do music at uni. And one of the things that I'm really fascinated by is how songs nowadays, there are similarities in so many with either the same chord patterns or just um, like melodic similarities. So I write them down and create lists of things that are similar. So if I'm ever in the mood to just sort of jam on the piano and do like a mashup sequence, I've got loads of songs and things. So that's what I use this one for. And there are different chapters and things. So I haven't, I haven't used it that much, but I always keep it with me. And I saw this one, which was in TK Maxx. Now this is slightly bigger than this one, but if you want this for, I don't know, colour combinations or just writing hashtags down or just trying out colours then these are great they're so inexpensive and obviously with them being moleskin they're meant to be yeah they're meant to be like nine ten pounds these and that's what I'm inclined to use this one for so it's really good that they have more of these I hadn't seen them for such a long time so they had this one which was the green which was my favourite with the red binding and then they had a couple more colours I think so Again, with TK Maxx, it's one of those things where you just have to pop in and see what they have because each store has something different. But yeah, this is also a dotted journal, which again, very happy about because I do love my bullet journals. Um, yeah, it's just perfect. So yeah, I'm really excited to, to have that. And I thought I'd pick it up whilst I saw it because they didn't have many left when I went in and that was definitely early, early January. Quite a few of these things are from a while ago, actually. And then unfortunately, I think Paper Chase are closing 
lots and lots of their stores. I don't know if it's every single one um, or just the majority of them, but they were having sales. And one that we walked past recently was a 50% off sale because the store was closing really soon. And the one that I went to to buy this next thing I'm going to show you was only, I want to say it was like 20, 30% off most things. I don't know whether it was just... Um, a combination of like, the Christmas sale and the shutting down sale but I really hope that they're still going to be selling online because I love when they bring out their new collections and just seeing what they have and um, it's a great store so I ended up getting this which was five pounds instead of ten so it was 50% off and this is a desk pad so it's perfect for me I haven't had a desk pad for a while and I've um used up my other ones and they're just so handy i get random thoughts in my head and stuff that i need to do and i'm i don't really like writing stuff down electronically on notes uh, like on my phone so it's really handy to just have this out i use it all the time i've got, I've got through quite a lot of it already um and i loved the design i thought it was really pretty it's a great size as well it's not too big that's the other thing it's just it's, it's a great great size um and I know, you know, you can just write stuff on a piece of paper, which I have had to do since I, you know, obviously ran out of my other ones. But it's nice to have a pretty design um, and, you know, actually use it. Because these are some of my like, most used sort of stationary item. They're just, they're great. And I love the satisfaction of being able to take stuff off. That's why I love making lists. So, yeah, that's that. Then I have some ribbon from Tiger. I got a couple of these. Um, and also some happy birthday postcards which were like reduced to 20p each or something like that these were in the sale um, but I have used those actually but this ribbon I've just used for um, my dad's birthday present actually I got two of these so these were 50p each and I thought it was a lovely design I like the colour palette as well and their ribbons are great I've got theirs in the past I had some bunting ribbon that again I've used quite a lot they have some great designs and they're just really good value and it's always worth looking in Tiger because they have some really good things for wrapping or just you know small gifts and things like that so yeah I enjoyed using that and I keep that in, also in the uh, wrapping paper storage um, container <clears throat> then I was very very kindly sent some happy milk from Sue so kind of her to to think of me and send this um this is the ruby charm colors big book of color charts so this is susan carlson so she is the illustrator of um of these books she's got quite a few coloring books quite a few um oh, i don't really know the word like sort of coloring journals um as well and like um helping you do organization and things like that so this one specifically is for um color charts as i said so there are illustrations and i always think that her ones with a black background are really unique because um you know coloring on a black background is uh not often something that i've done especially where the actual illustration has the black background with the white lines i have colored an illustration in the other book that sue very kindly sent me um, so this, the idea of it is most of them are specific sets. So <clears throat> I think there's a contents yet here. So this is the contents of all of the charts that you get. Now, for the most part, I've swatched out most of my sets that I use a lot. So I have my, I don't know if I've got them to hand actually, or whether they're in my case. Oh no, they're here. I have my bubble, um, swatch charts which i do have a video on um and they were inspired by um something i saw on um youtube i will definitely link that because her channel is amazing so these are my prismacolor ones these are my holbein ones here so i tend to just keep this in my pencil case or in the case um and in the big pencil cases when I'm using them because they're, they're really handy uh, and then I have swatched a few other ones here and there my Black Widows are on an Emily Illustrator one that I just keep in the case as well however 
Um, there are some sets here which I haven't swatched. And I don't get a lot of time to colour as it is. So um, I do really enjoy swatching and I'm sad that I don't have as much time to, to do it. I just find it really um, relaxing to do. Um, there are some sets here which I've only got a few pencils of. So the Tombow Rogertons I really love. I have about 12 or 15 of them. Um, and yeah, there are some sets here that I know of, but I just haven't tried them. But the thing that I'm really interested about are the blank charts at the back. At the back. <coughs> so I'm hoping... Uh, where was this? So there are numbered ones. So they're really handy because they're like the Faber-Castell Black Edition pencils I have don't have any numbers. So I could make my own numbers for them, which could work. Yeah, the thing I'm really excited for are these blank ones because I can photocopy them. <laughs> Or even just do them in here and keep them in the in the case. And they're already made up for me. Um, sometimes I do find that I'm sort of just getting a bit of card and scribbling the, the pencils down, which I've done in the past. And it'll be really handy to actually have them all set out. So there are lots of different layouts as well. So, yeah, they are brilliant. And, yeah, thank you so much, Sue, because this is fantastic. And the illustrations are very, very pretty as well. So definitely check out Susan Carson if you're interested in her artwork as well as um, obviously she's got all her other books as well, which ha still have illustrations in. So the great thing about this is it's like a term one because it's a colouring book and all of the swatches as well. So, yeah, thank you so much. So I'm really looking forward to using the swatch charts. So sorry, I just had to go and grab some water. And also whilst I was at it, I did check the um the channel that i was inspired by for the swatch cards because i do always try to credit people where i can and um, it was blayak fine art so um yeah absolutely fantastic she's got some great tips on art as well as um coloring as well and those swatch charts have been so helpful in the past and yeah um they're they're just great you know as a small sort of compact um tool so yeah I have a few other things to share with you I got some more of the page flags so these are my favorite page flags ever I use them quite a lot now um, and I've gone through my other pack so these are by the company Legamy um, which is an Italian brand I think because uh, my friend Valentina very kindly sent me um, some things that you may have seen in my last haul and these are fruits so because I'm a fan of Harry Styles, obviously, as I said, when I got the first pack, it reminded me so much of some of his songs. Um, and also, I love the um, the feel of these types of page flags, the sort of plasticky feel to them. And they're see-through as well, and you can write on them, and they're great. So these these are so good and I'm so happy to have some more because I was looking for them everywhere and one of the WH Smith stores near me they have a whole stand with loads of Legamy products and they had these um, but I haven't been able to find them for a few months um, and I didn't realize as well well I haven't done it this way but you can actually break off each of the individual um, designs so if you want to store them in a uh, smaller way and only use one at a time then you can do that so yeah i love those and then again running on that same sort of theme my friends went away and um went to australia very jealous but she had an amazing time um she very kindly brought me back some pens and again they these reminded her of um harry's songs as well so we have the watermelons which i haven't used yet because i'm going to be saving this one till last um and they're they're so lovely they've sort of got the same feel as the legamy pens actually they've got a really nice smooth feel i don't really know how to describe it these are bruno visconti pens and they're a really thin ballpoint which i like um i don't have many of them so i don't tend to use them for college actually i have been using this one i don't know, i haven't using this one um but they're almost like too nice to use i don't really use them but yeah, there's a strawberries as well. So, yeah, I absolutely love these. I've never seen them here before, so 
really lovely to have a piece of Australia. Um, I'm sure if I had a look, you can probably get them in other places, but that was so kind of her to, to think of me and um, and send them. So thank you so much. Um, and the last couple of things I have to share with you are from an art shop that I just discovered. And I didn't even realise it was there in um, this this town near me. And it was so nice to discover it because I go so often and just never even realised there was one. So I needed to get a spare Jelly Roll metallic pen. I have been so, um, so in need of one of these. Also, I have been meaning for a while to do a cold pens order and get the Jelly Roll glaze clear pen because I'm completely out of that. But I sort of don't just want to buy one or you know one or two pens so i'm sort of waiting for the things to run out to make it more worth my while because otherwise it's more you know it's more economical as well to do that um rather than you know doing the whole the whole shipping for two pens so yeah i am trying to make do without them but i do love the jelly roll glaze pens they're fantastic but this is my most used gold pen ever and um, the jelly roll metallic is perfect it's a lovely bronzy colour I can show you actually on the um oh it's brand new it's taking a little while to why have I said that I have used it on, on something already um yeah it's got a lovely bronzy colour to it so it's not a bright gold it's not like the uniball one I actually have a uniball one to hand actually so if it works I can show you the, the difference between them not showing up terribly well but this is the uni ball so you can see the difference in terms of how <coughs> you know how yellow that one is and then this one is more of a bronze still both gold obviously in their own right but just different so yeah it's a it's a great great color and i'm glad to, to have that i don't have all of the metallics i have a couple I haven't tried the other colours. And then I also got this. Now I have um, never seen this before and I just saw it and I love picking up like, little knick-knack things. If I've never seen them before and I just know that I can't leave without getting it, um, then I'm, yeah, you know, when I'm very excited to buy stuff, just have to pick it up. So this is a really cute tin and I don't know the brand and I don't know if it's an art brand I've seen a couple of other people, oddly, since buying this. They've just randomly been on people's stories. Um, <clears throat> but this was £2 and it's perfect. And I thought I could use it. The only thing is, because it's like, um, you can tell that it's sort of handmade. I need to just put that, there we go, back in. So this I thought I could use for paints because I have lots of little paintings at the moment with my handmade paints in. The Talkie family paints, they had so many gorgeous ones um, there, this brand that I hadn't heard of before. Now I've got this little tin, the Peter Abbott one from Paper Chase, and then I have the bigger, well there are different sizes of tins, so this one is the standard one from the Art Spirits, um, and this is her bigger one. But this one is sort of a similar size, a little bit smaller, but it probably can fit in some paints if um if I really wanted it to but I just thought it's so lovely I am not exactly sure yet what I'm going to put in it but it was too lovely not to to get and I think it's so so great just a little sort of memory of the shop because I don't know when I'm going to be able to go back but there was so much crammed in it it was, it was so so cute and I'm so glad to have now discovered it so yeah, that's my little um, cute knick-knack thing that I got from there. So that's everything that I have to share with you. So a lot of just sort of bitty things. As I said, the next haul that I do will definitely have more colouring books in it um, because I've already got a few which I'm very, very excited about and I know that there are a couple more to come as well. So yeah, that's everything that I have to share with you. I hope that you've enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for watching. Everything will be down below as usual. And I will see you all in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.